Time for Reaction Therapy 2.0. We go back in the vault to some reactions that had lots of attention paid to them over the past couple of years. We just wanted to revisit songs that you liked and reactions that you liked. Today it is Lil Peep, The Way I See Things. I can never get enough Lil Peep, first of all. Second of all, I love going back to these old songs that I've already heard because I get to hear them, I think, differently the second time. Mental health awareness to the world is our thing. Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist. Without further ado, it is time for Lil Peep, The Way I See Things. Yep. Yep. Ah. I got a feeling that I'm not gonna be here for next year. Oh, peep. See, this is where it really stinks. Like, I didn't know a lot of these artists back in the day. I didn't start listening to this stuff till two years ago. So... Just to see the picture painted on the wall. I want to be able to talk to some of these people so that we can not have that and see what would happen on the other side if they're still here. Little Peep had so much to offer. Such a sweet guy. It seemed like a gentle spirit, a kind heart to people. And just so much had happened in his life that I think it was just too much. And then you get into the addiction and you start using... <sighs> Got a feeling I'm not going to be here for next year. We need you here. And there's another, another little peep out there, artists growing up, that we want to be here and stay here, y'all. It is worth it, and you've got so much to live for. That's why I talk about using so much, because it's a coping skill, not just a hobby. And it becomes stronger and stronger, and it takes everything away from you and everybody away from you. I don't feel much pain. I got a knife on my back, like somebody who stabbed me in the back, somebody who did me wrong, and a bullet in my brain, just ready to be done. It's hard to handle life. I think that's part of why people loved what he said so much, that his lyrics just cut straight to the point. I know what that feels like, you know? And, and the fact that you have a knife in your back and a bullet in your brain, you don't feel anything, is, mm, that's what's concerning. This is why I want people to contact someone. This is why I want some people to get help. Because if you just sit in this for very long, it becomes you. And if you sit in this depression and this anxiety, this stress, this hopelessness for long, it becomes you. And it grows. Remember I say, don't curl up in a ball in a dark room looking at social media, getting more and more depressed. It will grow and mushroom like crazy. You've got to continue talking about it, getting it out, laugh it out, sing it out, scream it out, write it out. Remember? All those things, because it's worth it's worth it, and you're worth it. So sad. That just doesn't seem like him, you know, just like, I'm going to do you dirty. I'm going to do you wrong. But it's the feeling like I've just been hurt so much. I've been, and that may be the knife in the back. I don't know if he had a girlfriend that had cheated on him or I don't know if he, somehow he'd been wronged, but he's kind of like, I'm going to, you just come over, we'll do it again. And I'll show you all the things I learned while you were gone. Cause I did it with a whole bunch of other people. 
And that doesn't seem like him, but it seems like the, the jealous, resentful, bitter side, what happens when we were done wrong. Please know that going around and trying to do something just to spread a message to somebody else, like I'll show you, is not going to be helpful. It doesn't help for us just to put other people down or to try to make other people miserable. It's remember, hurt people, hurt people. It's only going to make us worse because if you ever got back together with somebody and you had gone out to screw around with other people, it's not a good feeling getting back with them again now. Like this is how we're going to do it with each other. No, don't do that. Show you everything I learned while you were away from me. So true, just the way he is. And in the end, he comes back, look, I'm not really that that kind of guy. Like I'm gonna be here for you. And I think that would be him. I saw that documentary. He lets all these people live in his house. Like he'd give us his own bed. Like peep. Such a sweet guy. Man, man, such a legacy. So cool. Lil Peep, the way I see things, Reaction Therapy 2.0. We go back into the vault and listen to songs that we've reacted to before that got a lot of attention. And Lil Peep got tons of attention with every song we did of his. But the message, it's the voice, it's the message, and it's who he is, who he was when he was here. The voice is so unique, so distinctive. And so real with the feeling that comes out of it, the message in this is what a lot of people have been through. But it's a full circle message, I think, by the end, where he's like, it's the way I am, this is the way I've been, this is the way I do things. He's still the sweet guy. I still have real feelings. I still get hurt, still get the knife in the back. I don't like it, and I want to act out, and I want to pay you back, but... Still that guy. And the guy he is uh, while he was living and while he was making this music was a guy who was so sweet, so kind, I think. Didn't know him. But everything I've seen from him and people around him had a lot to offer. Man, Remember, it's not real therapy. It's just Tom bringing down lyrics. But if you want to help, check the links in the description. And please leave us your comments. Let us know what you think about this and what the story was behind this. Was he with the girl that cheated on him and then he went out and... It's not how what happened. Mental health awareness to the world is our mission. Let's do it. Let's spread it. Go get it. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.